Hey guys, welcome back. So, I got a question uh, just a little while ago about how and where I keep my, um, my mantises. Uh, well, the thing is I actually went to Petco a little while ago and I bought these little 9 by 6 by 6 uh, little pet keepers or little aquariums. They're normally used for fish, but I said, you know what, might as well get it for my little mantises. Since they're already small, put them in a big enclosure so then they won't have to, they can just grow into it. So, this is the, the topper right here. Uh, just standard. Uh, now to keep the little mantises in, I actually had to basically use a mesh to keep them in. This is uh, this is something I just found at Star Nursery. Um, I think for like a couple feet it was like like six, seven dollars, so it's not too much. Um, now how I keep them and how I maintain for them, how I maintain them, is basically I put a little um, paper towel down there. That's my little sick mantis down there. Put a little uh, paper towel down there, and I just keep it moist, and I put a little stick so they can crawl in it. Uh, that goes up to this, uh, this corner up here so they can crawl in the mesh and hang upside down in case they need to molt or shed their skin. And then I just keep it hydrated by missing it maybe once or twice every day, just so that it's nice and humid and we keep the humidity levels up. So that's basically how I keep them, and I just um, throw little, um, man uh, little bugs in there, such as cockroaches or flies, and they pretty much go crazy for it, and it seems to suit them well. They like it in here, and they, they seem to be doing well. Um, now, I would say that you should change this, because uh, it could get moldy once in a while. So I recommend maybe changing out the paper towel every every couple weeks or so, just to make sure you clean this up. And as you can tell, I'm a little overdue. He left a lot of little, little bugs around. So I definitely got to change that. And while I have this open, I might as well go ahead and feed him. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so the cockroach is in there. We're going to go ahead and move them along so we can get them over there. Okay, there we go. Now, I don't normally do this, but I'm going to see and get them over there just to see if the praying mantis will eat them. Ah, go the other way. There we go. Alright, so that's pretty much how I feed them. I don't usually uh, use the stick method and just push them around. Usually I just let the praying mantis do its own thing. But I just wanted to show you guys that. I think you guys might enjoy it. Let's see if I can get them. Come on, film, work with me. Here we go. Pretty nice. All right, if any of you were wondering, this is actually a Popa Sperka, or an African stick mantis. Um, I don't know if you uh, wanted to know that, but just in case you wanted to get one for yourself and you wanted to know what kind of species it was, uh, there you go. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed my video um, of how I keep and maintain my, my mantises. Uh, if you have any further questions, please leave me a comment down below, and I'll be sure to get back to that. Thank you very much for watching this anime review, and have a great day.